Hello and welcome to the Slippy Limpets video. We're, uh, we're trapped on a big jumble of boulders. Well, this walk's becoming familiar to everyone. I'd like to start the video a different way, but uh, in reality, this is the only place I can fish. Well, the plan tonight was to fish a mark I'd been tipped off about, which is a good high water mark, but you, you get trapped on it over high water. So there's only a short period of time. Well, there's a specific period of time that you can get to it. So the place I need to get to is around this corner. But uh, I'm not exactly sure where the pinch point is. Look at me. Didn't see that seaweed there. That was nearly a bit of a cluster. Oh, I hope I can get here. Get to this mark. I've been really excited all day. Sitting at my desk thinking about this. Oh, I am sweating. It's 8 degrees today, which is the first time the thermometer has been above 4 in about 3 weeks. I'm absolutely roasting. Still, probably too hot and too cold. Oh, I might not be in luck. I've just seen the pinch point. A little bit of a risk because the tide's coming in. And I know I've just passed a pinch point <coughs> and if this doesn't work then I've got to get back so I don't get stuck on this beach so that wouldn't be good because the fishing's poor but we're getting near the moment of truth oh. <coughs> just passed another pinch point looks like actually I should be able to get onto it my concern here though is the swell, it's coming right into this mark and it's actually uh, forecast to, for the swell to build a bit I'll get a bit closer and uh, assess what the uh, what it's like to fish from Another thing that's slightly concerning is the state of this cliff and with all the rain and snow recently there's been uh, doesn't look very stable, there's a load of fresh sl uh, slips here. Oh, it's a bit unnerving this. If the swells weren't here, wouldn't be a problem, but well, this is the third pinch point I've passed. Oh, that's quite a big wave. When you come to places like this, it's always worthwhile watching the uh, the swells just for a minute. Just make sure you get an idea of the size with seeing all the uh, sets that are coming through. I think I'll be all right to be honest. Well, that's good. That says the swell's not going to get any bigger. We past twelve, so it's going to be that high high tides in an hour. Well, I think it's going to be safe enough, so uh, I've got to give it a go. So, this is where I am. Looks like I'm going to want to cast into this gully, which is kind of that way. Either that, there's another gully on that side. It's about 60 metres away, mine, so I could probably do with a bigger tide. But, uh you can obviously see the waves are really kicking up over that, that side so that's where this piece of rock is here yeah let's give it a go for a couple of hours there what's the worst that can happen so as ever got my trusty uh, any fish anywhere gbfs pro uh pen battle 3 8000 lc a uh, 78 pound Dywood 8 strand J braid and uh, a lot of people have been asking us recently so I may as well mention it the Shakespeare salt um, rod rest the cart's completely different to last week last week the cart didn't defrost and I've only been out of the house half an hour and it's almost defrosted already there's a nice orange bit so I've just tied on two Foro Sukuma Mantas, the usual boatload of, uh, of worms. Well, 
that on nice and gently. Oh, it absolutely stinks. No wonder the fish like it. And I've got a bigger bit for the bottom if I can keep that in place. So I'm in a hurry here. I just want to get a line in the water before the uh, tide changes too much. Before I miss the high tide. And then after that, I uh, will set the second camera up. I knew I'd got a tip light out. I don't know how easy it's going to be to cast in here with a 14 foot rod. Let's go over that way. So, well, finally set up. My line's been in the water about 10 minutes. Conditions wise, as ever, it's uh, it's actually, there's no wind at the moment, but it's, it's due to pick up and start blowing an absolute hooli and maybe some rain come 10 o'clock, but um, I'm thinking my plan might be to fish here until I can get off because it empties out in front of me and then go back round into the main bay because I should be sheltered from the uh, from the winds that are due. This place feels really fishy and the guy who told me about it said it was uh, a big fish mark so that means I'm probably likely to blank. All we can do is hope as ever. Tide wise it's high tide coming up in about 10 minutes. Um, the water's monkey and there's uh, about a two foot southeasterly swell. That's just kind of rolling in nicely, so it's uh, quite pleasant at the moment. Oh, Well, that's a good start. I've had the bait in the water for about five minutes while I've been setting the camera up. And uh, already had my first hit. Just a little one, but... Uh... Right, well, this is at about uh, 25 minutes or so. So uh, I'm going to bring it in. Had a few hits, but... But nothing massive. No connections, really. Um, I think my lead's kind of over a big rock, but uh, oh, just had a bit of a hit there. Maybe I might give it a couple more minutes. Right, it's time for a fresh bait. Oh. Well, saved the blank. No wonder it looked like I was getting hit. The stinking little rockland. The slimy one, anyway. Don't know how long that's been on there, but uh, it's amazing what these little fish can get there mouths around given the size of the hook. It's always a bad sign though for me if uh, if we're rockling over about and uh, normally there's no cod. Right I'm going big bait this time. Guess I could have kept that rockling. <laughs> Live baited it but uh, I'm guessing if there was no cod there to eat it at the moment then uh, I need something with some more scent in the water for at least 20 minutes, half an hour.
Second bait in the water. Already it looks like I've got some uh, some interest in it. Could have been another Rockland. It's uh, it's now 20 minutes after high tide, so guessing we're on slack water, which means I've got a, I'm only trapped for another uh, hour and a bit. It's nice to have a blank out of the way, but not the target species, unfortunately. I've whacked on a massive bait this time. A load of car, a load of worms, and uh, I'm hoping that it's going to do the job. First time round I cast over to uh, the first light, uh, lighthouse, windmill. I've gone a little further to the left this time. Just try and find my casts out and get used to the area. All right. Feels a bit eerie sitting on, uh, being kind of trapped here. Feels a bit committing, but um, I know that I'm not here for too long, so it's not that bad. I can feel some taps on my line so I'm guessing that I've uh, found the kelp bed which is good Ooh, yes, okay. Oh that was a big hit Oh yes This feels like it might be a good fish. Well, better than I have been getting. Let's get a bit closer. Oh, it's hung up. There it is on the surface. Hey! Finally! Oh come on, I'm snagged up in the, the shoreline. Oh last! That is a fatty. Well, would you believe it? I think it's safe to say that I've broken the 44 centimetre. Barrier that I had, I mean uh, is it's not massive and I've got a seven ounce lead so I would say this is about three pounds but uh, it's a welcome three pounds that's for sure let's get it unhooked oh it's just hooked in the lip as well oh excellent took a really good hit first of all and came back for another go well there we go Finally, after all these weeks of getting tiddlers, it's not massive, but it's uh, it's very, very welcome, that's for sure. Well, there we go, he's away. Get in. Let's get another bait out quickly. We've got a nice big, uh, well, fat and compact cart and uh, lugworm bait on there. I'm going to try and get that in the same place. That rat's following us. Tide's dropping quite quickly, so time's of the essence at this mark, like. Towards that second uh, windmill. Well, looks like it might be a little bit further to the left than the previous cast, but uh, hopefully it's still in a good enough position. Woo! Third bait in the water. Put another big one on because my time here is pretty limited. Um, this mark, it's only really a high water mark apparently, and it empties out quite quickly, so uh, I'm trying to fish as quickly as I can, but not always possible is it so uh i super stoked finally got a reasonable fish it was really fat i don't know what i'd been eating but i'd been eating well um it's tempted maybe to keep it but 
Maybe the next one. Might keep it. Yes! Come on! Well, I'm going to bring this back in. I know I'm getting some rattles, but... Uh, I don't know, I'm not that, not that confident of where it is. Yeah. Feels like I've lost me lead. Lost me lead on that one. It's fine, I've got loads. The box is weighing a ton at the moment. Still a bit of bait left on, but uh, I'm just going to slide this up, tidy it up a bit and get another one out as quickly as I can. It's a bit unnerving sitting next to this big uh, landslip. Should have brought me cat climbing helmet. On my rotten bottom I'm using uh, some 25 pound, I think it's Berkeley XPS, just tie a figure of eight in it to create a loop, pull that nice and taut because figure of eight can slip, cut the tags off and take them home and make sure the knot's in the middle of the, uh, the loop and then a lock's footer to the base of the uh, Gemini, uh, the splashdown. And that means I can just get a lead here and uh, do the same to this. Lock's foot that onto there. There we go. Oh yeah, it's like a snake in comparison to what I usually get. Whoa, oh, look at that one. Bit of a messy one, but it'll do. The water's monkey, so I'm sure the fish won't be too fussed. Give that a little spin. I just spin that to keep my rotten bottom from tangling in the air. So when you spin it, it just uh, forms a nice little loop and stays out of the way of the spikes in your rotten bottom. So, went too far right last time. I've gotten towards that first uh, windmill. But last time I was onto the pink, last cast I was onto the pink rope. Pink rope? Pink part of my braid. Now I'm on the green, so that's a, a short cast. Which isn't ideal since the tide's dropping. Next cast in, that's... Uh, it didn't go as far as I'd have the previous times, but it's in the right direction at least. The tide has really fallen away now. It's a shame it's so dark, else I could kind of show you. I just went to wash my hands before, and the, the pool I was using earlier is completely dry, and the water's at least a metre lower down. So, and I've got loads of bites on my last cast, so hopefully, hopefully the fish are still about, even though the water's, uh, or well, this bay is emptying out. I was so surprised about that fish given the weight I've been, you know, the fish I've been catching recently in fact most season to be honest I've always wanted to try this mark as well but never really bothered um, but like I say someone kind of said oh, I'll give it a go so thank you very much hopefully I can get another one out before I have to move well I'm pretty sure I'm back where I caught that Rockland before because I've got the same sort of vibrations coming through my line I think my lead's over the back of a big rock um, so I can see the white caps out there where uh, where my line's going into and that obviously means there's, there's some uh, big structure out there so uh, but I'm getting hits as well at the same time so and it's exactly the same characteristics as I had uh, earlier with my uh, when I got that rockling on the first cast 
So I'll give it another 10 minutes I guess. Just had a look around the corner and the water's uh, about the same height as when I arrived so I'm not trapped anymore which is uh, quite a nice feeling. I think the plan is, as I said I'd play it by ear but the skier that I've been fishing in my previous videos is uh, it's kind of starting to uncover now so if we don't get a couple of fish here in the next couple of casts or a fish in the next couple of casts then it's time for a move. So if we can pick up those waves there or breaking over that big rock. Big sets just came ro come rolling through before. Really helped highlight the structure. I was God nearly fell down there. It's 10 o'clock now and I haven't had a bite for ages so uh, it's probably about time to wind this in and make a move. Hopefully I can get it in over these rocks without too much of having to head down because the slippy has. Oh, you're joking. How long has that been on there? It's much bigger than the last one. Well, yet another rockland. Much bigger than the last one, I think. I think that might be a PB rockland. Half eel, half codlin. There we go. Right, let's get a yump on. Across these leg breaking rocks. Right, well that's the first bait in the water at the new position. I've, uh, I've messed that cast up completely. I'm again almost parallel with this gear, which is uh, not in the gully. Um, so I'm just going to give this 15 minutes and then wind it in. Unless I get a fish of course. But uh, this crosswind, it's, it's blowing from the bottom of the skier to the top, so it's just it's uh, taking everything to the left and it's uh, it's pretty tricky going. It's not too strong mind, it's just uh, a lot different to what it was earlier. It's half ten now, got a few little bit of bait left so I'll just give this an hour here I think. Unless the fishing's mint and then I'll uh, stay until I kind of fish any longer. Not much happening here. work well finally did it um, didn't measure the fish but it's definitely been my biggest in quite some time and probably beating the 44 centimeters I was after it was definitely the fattest fish of the season I don't know what I'd been feeding on but it was big you know I had a proper big belly I right, it's been a canny night um, got a new mark to fish now uh, I've been short of high water marks normally fish around low water so uh, Always good to have a, an extra mark in the book as it were, so uh, yeah, definitely be going back there. Um, probably on a bigger tide, to be honest, so it's uh, it's got more water in for longer. Thank you very much for watching, uh, really appreciate it, and everybody who's joined the channel recently, it's been, uh, it's been awesome. Um, you know, I've had a good few subscribers, loads of comments, and uh, yeah, really happy to have your support. Um, if you haven't already joined the channel please uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit that like button as well if you like the video and don't forget to hit the bell so you uh, you get a notification of uh, when my next videos are out and you can see these awesome hairstyles again so uh, but until the next one tight lines guys <laughs>